In our previous video, we saw how to create this Google Map Places API for free where we enter the source and destination name manually in the text fields and we get the markers, polyline and the distance between them. And in this video, you will learn how to update the icons for the markers and also make these markers draggable. So you can press and hold the marker and drag it all the way to the other location and it will update the polyline as well as the distance between them will be calculated and you can see the location detail is also updated in the text field it's also possible with the destination location you can simply drag and drop it and it will update the location so be sure to watch the video till the end and if you have any question or video suggestion you can comment down and i will try to make another video on that and if you're new here consider subscribing so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and now let's get started with the video and see how we can do this all right now let's change the icon for current user location and destination location and also make these markers draggable so that when i press and hold this and drag it somewhere else and drop it it should change my current location or the destination location so let's give this code to chat gpt and give the instruction to do that i'm gonna use a new chat here and say first i'm gonna give the instruction for the icon and for that i will search for some animated icon from the internet so i got these two icons for current user location and destination now let's go to chat gpt and copy the code and use these icons as source and destination location so here it says first we have to add the assets in the pubspake yaml i will copy this assets and go to the pubspake yaml and here i can type in assets which is my folder and slash which will take both the images now i can save this and close it and next we have this load markers icon method which i can copy it and in our code i will replace this one here this one is deprecated we can simply type in asset now if i run the application so the app just got crashed i forget to change these ones so i will give this name right here and here also destination now if i run the application you can see the app is running and if i type in some location around here the destination pin is fine but the current user location marker is not looking as good as we are expecting it should be a little bit small let's see probably the image size is too big so i will make it a 16 again we have the location here but it does not stand out as marker in the map so i'm gonna search for another one so I got this one. Let me test how this one looks. Now you can see we have our current user location. So now this one looks better. We have our current user location, which is visually appealing. That's what we want, but you can set your own. Now the next thing that we want is we want to make these current user location and destination location movable and we drop it somewhere and location will be changed accordingly. Let's give that instruction to the chat GPT and see if it can generate the code for us or not. All right, finally, it has finished generating. Now let's copy the entire code and paste it in our VS code and see what it has given us. I did not check anything here, so I hope it works without any problem. I'm going to save it. All right, the app is running. And now let's see if we can drag and drop this location to some other position. If I press and hold this and move it, you can see I can drag it. So I want to drop it right around here. It should update my current location. It does. Now, there's no point for destination location in the beginning. So I'm going to type it manually here. Okay, now we have the destination location also. I want to drag the destination location now to somewhere else. So I'm going to press and hold it and drag it and get it and drop it right here to the park. Now it should update the polyline as we have described. Yes, it's updating the polyline also. And you can see the distance is also getting updated. Just to test it once more, I want to get this current user location and drop it right around here. You can see the polyline instantly got updated and the distance is also updated so that's it we achieved our goal this is what we wanted and there's nothing else right now to add to this map it has everything in the next video i'm planning to add the background location and test it with different devices so when our application is closed the location should be updated in background and probably we will use firebase to store the location in the background so we can make an application something like a live location tracker so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions 
solution or problem be sure to comment and i will try to make a video on that and with that being said i will see you in the next video